Tesla makes an offer to buy Solar City. Instagram hits 500 million monthly users. Apple's summer camp seems awesome, and more. It's Tuesday, June 21st, and this is Crunch Report. Welcome to Crunch Report. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. And because you're having a good Tuesday, let's start it off with some breaking news. Tesla has made an offer to acquire Solar City for $2.7 billion. The deal still has to be approved by Solar City and its board, but if it goes through, it would see Solar City stock exchange for Tesla stock. The deal would pay a premium of 21% to 30% on top of Solar City's value of $2.14 billion. So Tesla would be buying Solar City for between $2.59 billion and $2.78 billion worth of its stock. Side note, Elon Musk is chairman of the board at Solar City. The story is still developing. Keep checking TechCrunch to stay abreast of any new news. Twitter has launched a new app and it's called Twitter Engage. It's basically a new standalone companion analytics app aimed to better serve its celebrity and power users. In a blog post, Twitter wrote, Twitter Engage reviews all of your videos, GIFs, images, and other Twitter activity, allowing you to efficiently track post-by-post -post performance and continue the conversation around your content. From playing around with it, you have your Engage, Understand, and Post tabs on the bottom, and when you click into them, it gives you deeper analytics into how all your tweets are doing on Twitter. I think it's great. Anything that lets me track engagement and share more useful stuff with the Crunch Report audience makes me happy. Instagram is one of my sister's favorite social media networks. Pretty pictures, bad taxidermied animals, ugly tattoos. She likes it all, and she's not the only one. Instagram hit a big milestone. The social media network has over 500 million monthly users, twice its count from two years ago. It added the last 100 million since September 2015, faster than the previous 100 million. It's a growing beast. The Facebook-owned company also has 300 million daily active users, proving it's become a true addiction, not something people just occasionally check. In all its growth, only one metric shows slowing down. At 300 million monthlies, Instagram saw 70 million images per day. At 400 million monthlies, it had 80 million per day. And now at 500 million monthlies, it gets 95 million per day. According to TC reporter Josh Constein, that could point to users moving rapid sharing to Snapchat or being more cautious about blowing up their friends' Insta feeds. Twitter in the past has only ever let you upload a maximum length video of 30 seconds. But after an update release today, Twitter videos can be as long as 140 seconds. 140 seconds? 140 Twitter character limit? I see the connection there, Twitter. And the traditional six second vines can include a watch more button that opens a 140 second clip. That makes it much easier for creators to share their clips on Twitter's apps, even if they didn't shoot the video specifically for these networks. Other updates to video are a watch mode that plays a bunch of related clips one after another. All the platforms want to be the main spot for video, and this seems like a big move forward for Twitter. I hated going to any kind of summer camp as a kid, but summer camp now seems way more fun, especially with a summer camp class by Apple designed to teach kids how to code. Aimed at children ages 8 through 12, the new three-day session will use software from Tinker to introduce concepts of block-based coding and will allow kids to program Sphero robots. Apple has hosted Apple Camp for years, but this is the first time that it's offered a coding games and programming robots course. So cool. Sign your kids up. It's free. Have them create some cool stuff. Finally, just a heads up. You know the startup competition you all love? TechCrunch's Startup Battlefield? Well, the next one is TechCrunch Disrupt SF September 12th through the 14th, and we've extended Startup Battlefield applications until July 5th. So if you have the next billion dollar company, enter in now. To date, Battlefield's 610 contestants have raised a collective $6.1 billion. So get in on some of that action. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.